Hello and welcome to another Asbury Woods virtual visit. My name is Melissa Goodwill and today we are in my backyard where in just a few short weeks this entire field is going to be covered in native grasses and wildflowers and it's going to be crawling quite literally with all sorts of interesting bugs, beetles, spiders and more. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about some of the beetles that may call this field home. Did you know that there are more than 350,000 species of beetles on planet Earth? That's a lot of beetles. They make up 22% of all known species on Earth. By comparison, there are less than 7,000 known mammals. Beetles play important roles in the ecosystems where they live. They help with decomposition of dead plants and animals, they are key links in many food chains, and predatory beetles help to control insect populations. One of the most recognizable beetles is the ladybug. There are actually more than 400 native species of ladybugs and lady beetles in North America. Like many other insects, ladybugs go through complete metamorphosis. You may find each of the four stages of a ladybug's life in your yard. Ladybugs are primarily predators, enjoying meals of aphids and other small insects. They are great for helping to control insect populations in your gardens. Ladybugs are so good at controlling pests that in the 1970s, the United States decided to import some of their relatives from Asia to help with agricultural pest control. Unfortunately, these beetles quickly transformed from agricultural problem solvers to problems themselves. Now considered an invasive species, these are the beetles that invade many people's homes each winter. An invasive species is a plant or animal that is brought to a new ecosystem, often from another country, that negatively affects native plants and animals in their new environment. Invasive species often outcompete native plants and animals for food, water, space, and other resources. They may also introduce diseases to native species, both of these are true of the Asian lady beetle. Since the Asian lady beetle was released, native ladybug populations have been steadily declining. Some species are feared to be extinct. Today, you are far more likely to see an Asian lady beetle than a native ladybug. So how can we tell native ladybugs from the invasive Asian lady beetle? The biggest clue is the M-shaped marking that is present behind the head of the Asian lady beetle. Native beetles do not have this marking. These three tips can make your yard more attractive for ladybugs. Plant native flowering plants that will attract other insects for them to eat. Include a water source like this shallow puddler pictured, and don't use pesticides. You can also become a citizen scientist and help researchers track different species of ladybugs that you may find. The Lost Ladybug Project is a citizen science website where you can report ladybugs that you find. They identify the species and map where native ladybugs are still being found. This data is important for protecting the species and hopefully regrowing their populations. Participating is as easy as taking a photo of the ladybug you find and uploading it to the website with the location it was found. They have some great tips for how to get good pictures for easier identification. Thank you for joining me for another Asbury Woods virtual visit. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about beetles and may even be interested in getting involved in citizen science. We hope to see you back again soon.